Hi, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney here, coming to you with your Wrightsville Wednesday check-in. Uh, Pastor Doug reminded us yesterday at staff meeting that this week marks the two-year anniversary of us closing the offices for a period of time. And um, since we were working from home, you often saw me zooming with you from this very corner of my house, or perhaps reading you a devotion. Um, most of you will probably recognize this corner because I zoomed with so many of you in those early days and um, recorded quite a few devotions. So it seemed appropriate that I should come to this corner and read you a devotion for this week. This year, the staff is reading Fighting Words. It's by Ellie Holcomb. And Ellie Holcomb is a singer-songwriter um, who often incorporates music into her devotions, and this one is no exception, but you'll know this song. Our devotion this week is based on Matthew 28, 20. I don't know what the COVID-19 pandemic was like for you, but goodness, for me, I felt so isolated. I missed hugging people, I missed proximity to others, I missed going to concerts, being in a room full of other people singing along to songs they know and love. I missed being at church and standing in line as we waited to take communion together. I missed busy restaurants and children playing happily with other kids on the playground. I missed gathering with our friends and families for family birthdays and holidays. Maybe you missed the same things. And maybe even today, there are a whole host of other reasons outside of a global pandemic that you feel alone. After all, viruses aren't the only things in this world that make a person feel isolated. No matter the reason behind our feelings of loneliness, Jesus speaks this truth over us loud and clear. You are not alone. I am with you always. It's true, we're not alone. I know it felt that way for such a long time and probably still feels that way. Pandemic or not, these days can feel isolated for so many reasons. And if you are feeling that way right now, I hope you'll lean in close to hear the truth. Love is with you. God is love. And while you may not be able to feel him some days, it doesn't change the truth that he's got you right in the palm of his hand. When we pray for our friends and family, a lot of times my kids will ask if we can just sing, he's got the whole world in his hands. But they put our friends and family's names in the song, like he's got BB and Pop Pop in his hands. Maybe it's just the singer in me and maybe you'll think it's silly, but I cannot help imagining what it would be like if we sung this over ourselves right now. Even if it feels strange at first, Try singing it over yourself or, or speaking it. If singing feels too uncomfortable for you or whisper sing if you're in a public place and don't want anyone to hear you, no matter what, just sit in this truth for a moment. He's got Wrightsville UMC in his hands. He's got Wrightsville UMC in his hands. He's got Wrightsville UMC in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I know you may not have liked how that sounded or that you might have felt too self-conscious to sing that out loud, but more than anything, I hope we can let this simple song carry a simple truth deep into our souls. I hope you can sense today that beneath you and around you are everlasting arms. And I hope you'll lean into them and let out the sadness and fear and worry. He can take it and hold it all. It's okay for us to lament and grieve. Considering everything we have faced as a globe, it's appropriate for goodness sakes, but it's also so appropriate and important to hold on to the hope that we aren't on our own. God's got full control of the world and its future and suffering. Suffering has an expiration date. I love that line. I love that line. So she includes in this devotional some discussion questions, and you can ponder these or perhaps discuss them with someone. 
When COVID-19 descended upon the world, what was it like for you? We all have a different experience of that. What was it like for you? How does Jesus' promise in this verse give you hope for today and tomorrow? And remember, our verse is Matthew 28, 20. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And number three, how might you walk differently through seasons of isolation if you believed that this verse was true? Again, our verse is Matthew 28, 20. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. I like this devotional. I really like the words of Ellie Holcomb. I think that COVID-19 for all of us has been a different experience. I heard it said early on in the pandemic that we're all in the same storm, but we're not all in the same boat. I think that's true on this end of it as well. But I hope we've learned some things. Um, I hope we've learned some things about ourselves. I hope we've learned some things about our church and our church family. I hope they've all been lovely things. And I hope that we've learned something about God's faithfulness and about leaning into those everlasting arms. So, that's it for me this week, Wrightsville. Uh, of course, we're all back live now, and we still have some hybrid classes, and we're still doing some of those things for the folks who are online, and we're doing the things for the folks who are on site. So join us if you will. That's it for me for today, and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye, Wrightsville.